2022, centre number 68815 for Gower College Swansea. It's unit one, task one, individual talk. And the chosen category is the world of science and technology. Hello, my name is Doris Andre Moldovan, and I was born on the 15th of November 2005. What do you do when you wake up, when you finish work, before you go to bed? For at least one of these questions, you must have answered with social media, Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, social media. We all use it. So what? <coughs> Personally, I think that social media has a, a, a lot of negatives on our society and how we all individually use it. For example, do you know that a British study in 2018 actually tied social media to decrease and disrupted and delayed sleep, which is also linked to depression, memory loss and poor academic performance? <laughs> Today, I wish to talk to you about how social media is de detrimental to us as a society. So my first point, social media simply waste our time. I mean, our, our, our average is about two hours and a half every day for a while. Now, a, a general wake hour is about one hour long. You could actually read about 50 pages of a book on average in those two hours. And even a movie is more educational and is about two hours long. <laughs> so why do we spend so much time? I, I, I can admit that a short daily dose can be good, however, it can turn into a bad thing. Have you ever heard of dopamine? It's a drug that, well, not more of a chemical that we have in our brain, which is, um, which is, which is activated when we accomplish an achievement or we anticipate pleasure. So. <laughs> so you see if drugs didn't have any nicotine or any of the you know kind of addicting chemicals the high effect that makes you happy still kind of makes you addicted so social media is quite the same it doesn't have any addicting chemicals however the happiness and the emotional attachment that it gives you and you connect with still makes you Predicted. And you can argue that, yes, it doesn't affect me physically. You know, I, I'm not, it's nothing bad happening to my body. However, my mind is still being slowly destroyed and it's been enslaved by my screen. And so is yours. My second point is social pressure. Now, if you ever scroll, you know, there's always people that are doing happy things, you know, they're always happy. It's always like a positive light, you know, they look good, they do things that are good. They have the body you dream of doing things you dream of, of doing. <laughs> now, of course, this can be motivational and, and, and you may say that, you know what, well, I'm going to get, get better myself. I want to look good and I want to do these things. And yeah, that's great. But then you post the same only positive fake reality on your on, on your page, which kind of continues the cycle for younger generations. My third point is influence. The uh, sociology, which is a sign of human behavior and uh, social, socio, so socialization, I think you say it, sorry, um, claims that our personality and our opinions is developed through our own choices. So like your parents, your friends, the rules that they have in school or are given by the government, TV, media. So you see social media plays also a big role in your in your beliefs. In, in other words, it's a rainbow of diverse influences that are being programmed into you, which cause your brain to develop an opinion of everything in your very own so it's very important that we listen to the right people, not people with a negative impact that just wish to make a profit off of us. An example of this is I Should Speed. I Should Speed is an up-growing and upcoming YouTube channel as well as Twitch channel. He promotes actions such as slamming your desk, such as throwing chairs, screaming, and all these very negative actions onto his audience. 
Now, it, you can argue that, yeah, it's entertaining for, you know, an older audience that understands right and wrong, but the problem is that most of his uh, audience are younger, are younger, younger teenagers or even children, which are the easiest to persuade. Uh, uh, second example can be Elon Musk buying Twitter. So when Elon Musk brought Twitter about a couple of a, a weeks ago, he announced that he will allow free speech. Now, what is free speech? Free speech means that you can um, you can show whatever opinions you have, whether good or bad, whether legal or illegal. You know, and this means that basically anyone can say whatever. Terrorists can make a Twitter account and just post what they believe. Now. Personally, I would think um, I I would say that I like that people can speak the truth and the narrative is no longer you know a straight line control. But how does that make you feel? Do you really think that a thirteen year old, which is the min which is the minimum age requirement on Twitter, can really tell what's wrong and what's right? Yeah, I don't think so. My fourth point is that social media is very tempting. You know, we can't get enough of it and it's so easy to access that we just can't stop. Did you know that 92% of students admit or have been caught using their phones in class? I mean, I myself can actually say that I do the same thing. Did you also know that 78% of car accidents happen to distracted driving? 70%? Yeah, I know. It's shocking. Now, the problem is, is that so that phones are getting way too portable and everyone has them. So I personally think that this only is going to get worse and worse. In, in conclusion, I'd like to sum this up by saying that the few possible advantages social media has are massively behind in a race against the negatives and can even be continued without social media, without with, with things such as just YouTube or Netflix or <coughs> perhaps magazines or newspapers. I hope that my research was enough to bring the negative light that social media has on us all, and I hope that you can now consider being the change that you want to see in the world. Thank you. Any questions? Okay, so can you just briefly give me a quick example of uh, a positive or negative experience you've had uh, using social media? Um, I'd, say, I'd say that a positive I'd say that positive experience I have with social media day to day is that it's a very easy way to kind of kill time. So if you have a board and have nothing to do, which you don't, because there's always better things to do than just kill your brain. It can be entertaining and fun, and that can also be the exact same thing. That's also the negative experience that I have with it. Okay. Do you want to join? Thank you.